Yeah. Uh, sleeping with even a small amount of light may harm your health. Study says. You might like this one. Me? Because mm -hmm. you, you like sleep. sleep. With, do you sleep with a light on or somewhere? No. It's completely dark? Yes. You? What, what type of light you have? Well, I got I got the uh, the light on in, on the other end of the door. <laughs> really? Yeah. What is it like in the hallway or what yeah. do you mean? Yeah. It's so, like a so I got my bedroom and then there's a room and then there's my kitchen. So okay. I got the kitchen lights typically on. So it's like sort of barely coming through the doorway. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, then I also have my phone, which I'm watching videos, and I know I'm not supposed to be doing that. But. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing that. <laughs> He's confessing. Yeah. I'm, I also have my phone. I love watching. Uh, I Father, I must confess. I, I, I'm, I'm assuming that this, uh, this applies to all sources of light. Sleeping for only one night with a dim light, such as a TV set with the sound off, raised the blood sugar and heart rate of healthy young people participating in a sleep lab experiment. Blood sugar? What? Mm-hmm. Mm uh, prior research has shown an association between artificial uh, light at night and weight gain and obesity, disruptions in metabolic function, insulin secretion, and the development of diabetes and cardiovascular risk factors. Uh, Z and her team took 20 healthy people in their 20s, 20 people in their 20s, and had them spend two nights in a sleep lab. The first night was spent in a darkened room where you wouldn't be able to see much if, of anything. When your eyes were open, so like a really dark room. Mm -hmm. uh, they were connected to devices monitoring a number of objective measures of sleep quality so data could be gathered with minimal interference. They slept with an IV with long tubes that snake across the room and through a hole to the researcher's side of the lab. The blood was drawn without even touching the slumbering patients, so that wouldn't be the thing disrupting them. Okay. We recorded the brain waves and could tell what sleep stage the person was in. We recorded their breathing, heart rate, EKG, and we also drew blood to measure melatonin levels while they were sleeping. Melatonin is a hormone that regulates the body's circadian rhythm or sleep and wake body clock. So they estimate 5% to 10% of the light in the environment would actually get through the closed lid to the eye. Oh, wow. So your eyelid is not good enough at, at they blocking shut it everything out. out. Yeah. You know what's weird about this is I find a difference with the sleeping like you could it could be light out and you could be napping let's say right and you can wake up and feel pretty good mm -hmm. but that's different than your nighttime sleep mm -hmm. where something being slightly off the routine can really be disruptive mm -hmm. yeah they said that um even car lights that pass by that shone into your window and your eyes can detect the flashes of light and that's not good at all. Hmm. Like it can really disrupt your uh, sleeping pattern. Now, listen, this is a uh, a study. It's a study. And I'm sure there's some variance and variety of, of uh, reactions to such things. But it does come with some advice from those that ran the study. They say consider using a sleep mask. Mm hmm Strength of the evidence is that you should clearly pay attention to the light in your bedroom. Make sure that you start dimming your lights at least an hour or two before you go to bed. You hear that, Mo? Yeah, I hear a lot of the advice I get for better sleep is doing things three, four hours prior to actually yeah. sleeping. You kind of got to wind down Yeah, is what I heard. Ban any good. lights in the blue spectrum, such as those emitted by electronic devices like television, smartphones, tablets, and laptops. That's me. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Okay, that's so, tough to So, kick. Mo, are you making the change tonight? What's going on? Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll try it because I've been having bad sleep lately. So I know, dude. You're it's looking worth, rough in here. Worth you shot. show up in here. Yeah. And uh, That's what you said to me yesterday. You I'm said, worried about how you. How was your sleep? I said, what's going on? Yeah. Well, because I was up at like 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have an excuse, but uh, I don't know what's going on over there. I think you got too many lights on. Mm -hmm. Maybe. 